Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in partnership with Movie Maker Magazine. My name is Danny DeLillo and we're here at the South Park Center with Colin West with his movie Here and Beyond. Let's take a little clip. I guess I just want to say goodbye. But I'll never get to. Never say never. Hi, Mac. Uh, Colin, congratulations on your film. Thanks, man. Uh, thank you for being here today. Absolutely. Um, for those that haven't seen your film, tell us a brief synopsis. Yeah, sure. So um, it's essentially about a, a scientist who gets diagnosed with dementia and with the help of his kind of angsty teenage neighbor tries to use a time machine to relive his memories. I mean, why would you not want to see that film with that synopsis, honestly? That's, it's that's just what brilliant. I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where did the inspiration come from in creating this yeah, film? Yeah, so, um, so the inspiration really comes from my relationship with my grandfather. Mm -hmm. um, and he, in his later years, uh, developed dementia. And it was kind of, for me, like an exploration of kind of his subjective reality, in a way. And, and it, like, kind of, kind of what time means to him versus mm -hmm. what it means to me and what you know, it's it's a it's a it's a film that um, kind of dives into that subject emotionally. Yeah. You know, so that's yeah, that's sort of the inspiration. Yeah, I know. I just, I mean, obviously, a, a, the subject, the, the dementia, is something a lot of people go through as well. Right. Yeah. Um, wouldn't it would be great if there was a time machine to help us rekindle our memories as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's it, you know, it, it it definitely is a you know sort of a fantastic take mm. on on the subject. You know. Often films about about dementia or Alzheimer's are, you know, they're they're very sad and low and mm -hmm. down and and it wasn't my experience with my grandfather was not like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was obviously there was, you know, over time, you know, as memories would degrade, like he started to not really recognize me and stuff like that. But it was he never lost himself, mm -hmm. you know, and it was and that's really what makes. I don't know, it's like... Yeah, and no, I love that, though. You yeah. Get, you know, and I think also something else as well, like, you know, making us uh, appreciate life, you mm -hmm. know, and, and how great life is and how great having memories is and, and sure. looking over memories and life that you've led as well. Sure. And turn it into almost a very beautiful way. And wouldn't it be great if there was a time machine that could help us get there as right. well? Right, um, definitely. What was the... You had a really lovely cast that you just fell in love with. How, right. how was the casting process for you? It was it was fantastic. Actually, the the lead, uh, Greg Lucy, who I've yeah. worked with a bunch before. Um, you know, he was just like I wrote the piece for him. Really, mm. um, we get along really well, and again, have worked together in the past. Um, and then, uh, and then Laurel Porter, who plays the teenager, yeah, also fantastic. Um, she was just sort of through standard casting process, and um, kind of blew me away in the room. You know, like just with her kind of, like in the best way possible, sort of like sassy you know, don't care kind of attitude. Mm -hmm, like mm -hmm. it really, it felt very natural. Yeah. Um, and it also, I think there's something in her that's in me. And so yeah. I think that like, you know, I was attuned to that. And again, sort of like, you know, going back to this relationship, like it kind of mirrors my own relationship. So, um, so yeah, and, and then of course, Christine kellogg Darren, who played um, Ruth. Yes, uh, yes. You know, it's, it's funny, it's like a very small part, but she just knocked it out of the park. Oh. I mean, like on Great. on the day when we were when we were um, uh, filming her, you know, even the cast and crew, it was like just dead silent. Yeah. You know, like it was like cut, and it was just like, whew, okay, you know. That must be magical as a director to be like, wow, my my cast are amazing. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Well, it's you know ninety percent of the job, right? Yeah. I mean, like you know, if you if you've got a great cast, which I did. You don't really have to work, you know. <laughs> yeah, no, but it's true, isn't it? As yeah. well. What What is your kind of directing approach? Are you kind of more of a, a visual person, or do you kind mm. of, you know, you are an actor's kind of director? Yeah. Um, I mean, I've been told by actors that I'm an actor's director. I still mm. like sort of don't exactly know what that means. I mean, <laughs> I, maybe it just means that they like working with me. Yeah, but I that's think, a good thing, which right? is good, you yeah. know. But I, but I I do have a I come from fine arts, so yeah. I have a my undergraduate degree is in fine arts, and then I have a master's in in film, um, and so I've always been a visual person. I mean, that's yeah. sort of like how I communicate. Like, I, to this day, I still paint. I still do sculptures and stuff that's like that. That's why it was so visually beautiful to watch your film, you see. There you go. There you go. So it, com <laughs> it comes as one of your natural talents. Um, it was a really beautiful film to watch thanks, as well. Danny. It really yeah, was. And, and, you know, it actually kind of had an essence of, like, 
you know, we don't know what's going to happen to us in our future. Sure. Um, but, you know, it made you less scared about that as well, which I think yeah. is something we're all kind of afraid of that time when we may not be ourselves. Or maybe we don't appreciate that may actually happen to us or someone that we love that's close to us as well. Absolutely. And I think that's such a great thing that you communicated with your audience. Yeah, as well. you know, I, I, that's a good point. I mean, there's definitely, like we were kind of talking about before, like there's hope in the film, mm. which I think is often lacking in, in films about sort of diseases and yeah. this kind of stuff. Um, Agreed, yeah. Because for me, like, you know, and I was there, I was literally like at my grandfather's bedside when he passed away. He actually yeah. just passed away in August. Um, and, um, and, and there was, I mean, obviously it was very sad, um, yeah. but there was also like a certain joy to it about yeah. like a sort of a, a, a life fully lived. And, yeah. you know, we got to sort of talk to him about, you know, what he had done. And, mm. you know, there was, a, it was, again, sad, but, but there was hope. And I wanted to sort of convey that. Yeah. You know. Oh, you certainly did. Yeah. Well, it um, must be really powerful to have something, you know, based upon almost true personal experiences that you had with your great relationship with your grandfather. Yeah. And then make that into a film and then put that out to an audience. What was, what is that right. feeling? Like, it must feel very powerful to be able to almost leave a legacy for your relationship, but yeah. open up to the whole world to see. Well, totally. I mean, I think part of it that was really nice was walking out of the theater, you know, and it's, it's screened at a couple of places now. and people coming up to me and being like, you know, my grandfather or my father or my mm. grandmother had dementia and like, I just like, I really connected with yeah. the story. And I think that there's, I was, I'm, I'm happy when I hear that. When, yeah. when somebody that you just don't know, you know, kind of comes up and, and appreciates relates to it. it. It's, yeah. It's sort of why you do it. You what know? was your experience <laughs> like, um, you know, at New Filmmakers LA and then seeing your film in the big screen and having some of your friends there as well. Oh yeah, crew. sure. What was that experience like last night? Yeah, well, New Filmmakers is, is really fantastic. I mean, the, the program was very specific. Like this anti-ageism yeah. program um, was very specific and it really worked. Like all the pieces really threaded together. Mm. So it was a really cohesive um, program, which I definitely enjoyed. Um, yeah, it was great because it's. I live in Los Angeles, so you know, cast and crew got to come and yeah. and enjoy it as well, which is always a plus. You mm -hmm. know, when when that you know y you can sort of sense that you know your crew is out there. You know, it's yep. it's, it's yeah, really it's a good it feels feeling, good. isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what's next for you? What's next? So, um, trying to make here and beyond into a feature. You know, yes. actually the um, great. I wrote a feature first, and so this is actually kind of a short version of the feature. So yeah. Um, so it's kind of on the road towards that right now. Um, That's amazing. So the script is kind of getting around, and um, yeah, fingers crossed. I I, ho I really was hoping you were going to say a feature, as in yeah. my notes, like feature, please. Can we have one? Can we have one? And and well, hopefully thanks. there'll be some amazing scientists that will watch it and be like, let's make a time machine. And yeah, then, right. You know, let's go let's back in time, and <laughs> you know, and I think that's no, it's really beautiful, and I think. Um, it's 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 really nice to be able to celebrate, um, you know, sort of those people that go through certain things in life and, yeah. and maybe things that are quite tragic and put it in a in a in a light of you know of this light and and, and happy and, and sure. appreciation. I think it was really great for you to do. Um, just closing on, what what piece of advice have you ever been told that you could give out to any filmmaker out there? I would love to follow in your footsteps. Oh wow, um, <laughs> I'm like my advice is don't listen to me. No. Um, <laughs> I. Uh, I think it's it's totally a, a, a an industry where perseverance matters. Mm. Um, you know, this isn't my first short. Like I've made a bunch, um, and it just takes time, you know, to sort of build an audience. But I think you know, the first film, like sort of short that I made, you know, probably ten people saw. Mm. But that was enough to sort of be like, wow, ten people. You know, and, and, you know, that was like in high school, right, with my high school friends. And mm -hmm. But then it's like, okay, well, then I'll make another one, maybe 20 people. And, and it's not, you know, it's about sort of like, you know, film is truly just about communication. Any art form really is about communication. And so really it's about sort of like thinking how, what's the best way of speaking? You know, and I think that's kind of how when I go into these films, it's like, you know, why, why does this need to be a short film versus a painting or, mm. a, you know what I mean? Like, or a feature film, you know, mm. like what, what does it mean? How does it communicate? Yeah. Um, the great question to ask of yourself, I think, yeah, definitely. Yeah. No, I love, I love that a lot. And I think that's, um, that's inspiring because you just hope on each project that you make, 
it just keeps building you as your repertoire, sure. your your experience, and, mm -hmm. and more and more people get to see it. Well, I can't wait for more and more people to get to see more of your films and Thanks. the feature. And uh, so, best wishes. But thank you, Colin, for here and beyond, Thanks, and here and beyond to the feature. We're waiting for that as well. So thank you very much. <laughs>